In the last few videos, we moved our sailboat from Campbell River to Mill Bay so we could sell her. Then we headed back to Nanaimo where we left the water. This week we are taking you on a short tour of a small coastal city before we head back into boat life. We decided we were done with the normal life and set out to turn our lives into an adventure. This is our story. The good, the bad, and the crazy. Join us as we sail, explore, and share our mistakes along the way. Welcome to the Wayward Life. Where you going away to? So I am standing in our new backyard in Port Alberni. Look it, it's nice. A few months ago, I guess now. Three or four months ago, we decided that the house that we've been renting out in Arrington, which is about half an hour from here, we decided that we wanted to sell it. Um, it's a fairly large piece of property, like just under two acres with like a 2300 square foot house. And we knew that we never were going to want to move back into a house that big. And we also knew that the value of the property was pretty high and that in Port Alberni we had properties that we could purchase for a lot less that were going to suit our lifestyle if we ever decided to move back onto land better than that place. So we decided to sell our house in Arrington and buy a place in Port Alberni. So we traded in 2300 square feet for, <laughs> get ready for this, 890 square feet. It's super cute. I love it so much. We're also in in the town. So we were like in the country before, now we're in the town, which is a whole new experience for us. We're definitely more like country, outdoorsy, in the middle of nowhere people, but this is a perfect spot. You can see these trees behind me over there. These trees here. That is a set of trails that wanders through the forest, which we'll show you a bit later. So we're super close to a bunch of mountain bike trails, we're super close to a bunch of walking trails all through the forest and with a little beautiful creek running through. And we're super close to town too, so to answer your question that I'm sure you're having, why am I showing you our new house when this is a sailing channel? And the reason is that this is a kind of our in-between. So we are in the process of hopefully trying to buy another boat. Hopefully it works out, you guys will find out soon. Um, if you want, these videos are about three weeks out of time, so we are about three weeks behind right now watching this video. So if you want to get real-time updates, check out our Instagram or join our Patreon. We'll be posting lots of real-time updates on there. So we're planning on renting this house out in a few weeks, is the thing. But in order for insurance to be valid, we had to move into this house when there was nobody in it. So our renters didn't want to move in until March 1st. And so we are living here until March 1st. It's February 9th today. Yeah, so we're going to take you on a little tour of the town today. We've discovered a bunch of stuff we didn't know was here because most people when they come to Port Alberni they just stop for gas on their way to UQ or Tofino, but the spots that we're going to today are kind of off the main highway so you wouldn't even know that they were there unless you'd taken um, a left into the old part of the city. Port Alberni is built on the traditional territory of the Seashad and the Hupachaseth peoples who, luckily for us, are still very present in the area. Europeans first arrived in this area in 1787 on the Imperial Eagle. They explored the inlet but did not do much else. But in 1856, a Scottish fur trader named Adam Horn began using a trail across Vancouver Island that led from the Alberni Valley to Qualicum Beach effectively finding for the British a land trail from one side of Vancouver Island to the other. This trail is now known as the Horn Lake Trail, but it was used by the First Nations for many, many years before Adam Horn arrived. By 1860, the first sawmill was established in the area now known as Port Alberni, an industry that remains established to this day. Logging-related industry reigned supreme in Port Alberni until the 1980s when industry began to decline. I think it's almost warm enough to have long t-shirts, <laughs> but not quite. Not quite, you little cold. Yeah. Today, sports fishing and tourism are filling the hole left by the logging industry, and Port Alberni is becoming a hub for music, art, and culture on Vancouver Island.
but people don't visit Port Alberni for the mills. People come to Port Alberni to enjoy the incredible outdoors and nature the town has to offer. So this is the forest behind our house. Yep. Yep. It's got a ton of trails that go all the way to the hospital, which is up the hill. It goes all the way to China Creek, which is like miles and miles down the road. It's got hills, it's got mountain bike trails, it's got walking trails, and it's got forest, because it's a forest trail. All we have to do is walk out our back door and we're in it pretty much so that's really awesome. As a couple of crows. <laughs> it's a giant murder. Giant murder of crows. And Max. What you doing, Max? Well, guys, just like that, we're moving back out again. It's been 24 days. <laughs> and yeah, now it's time to go again. So it's taken us less than a day to move out of the house because we brought so little amount of stuff in here. Just like the bare minimum to live on. And, yeah, on to bigger and more fun things like another boat. Don't worry folks, next week we are back on the water for you with some very exciting changes to share. And thank you so much for liking, subscribing, and leaving those comments below. We really appreciate them.